Oh, hello, great readers. I'm Bo Chan. I'm Nimikum. I'm Van Chan. In this class, I'll read all of you a part of Ulysses. Yes. L. Ulysses. James Joyce. Tap. Ten sec G. Master Brunny line on run across the road and put for the commies letter to Fother Provincial. Into the mouth of the bright red litter box. Fother Commi smiled and nodded and smiled and walked along Madra Square East. Mr. Denny's J. Marginy. Professor of Dancing and Sea. In Silk Hat. Slate frock coat with silk facings. White kerchief tie. Tight lavender trousers. Canary gloves and pointed pattern boots. Walking with grave deportment, most respectfully took the cub's tongue as he passed Lady Maxwell at the corner of Dignam Squat. Was that not Mrs. McGuinness? Mrs. McGuinness. Stately. Silver haired. But your father called me from the farther foot bath along which she sailed. And Father Kami smiled and saluted. How did she do? A fine carriage she had. Like Mary, Queen of Scots. Something. And to think that she was a pawnbroker. Well. Ah. Thatcher. What should he say? Ah. Uh. Such a queen they mean. For the calm, he walked down Great Charles Street and glanced at the sheet of free church on his left. The River NT. Oh. Korean beer. Would Evie speak? The incumbent they called him. He felt it incumbent on him to say a few words. But one should be charitable. Invincible ignorance. They acted according to their lights. Father Comey turned the corner and walked along the north circular road. It was a wonder that there was not a tram line in such an important thoroughfare. Truly, there ought to be. A Ben of Satchel school bus crossed from Richmond Street. All raised untidy caps. Father Kami greeted them more than once benignly. Christian brother boys. Father Kami smelt incense on his right hand as he walked. St. Joseph's Church. Portland Row. For Asian virtuous females. Father Comey raised his hat to the blessed sacrament. Virtuous, but occasionally they were also bad tempered. Near a boyer house, Father Comey thought of that spendthrift nobleman. And now it was an office or something. Father Kami began to walk along the North Strand Road and was saluted by Mr. William Gallagher stood in the doorway of his shop. 
Father Comey saluted Mr. William Gallagher and perceived the orders that came from Buckham Fitch's end. I bore calls of butter. He passed Gorgons the topic nest against which Miss Boards leaned and told of a dreadful catastrophe. In New York. In America those things were continually happening. Unfortunate people to die like that. Unprepared. To death. An act of perfect contrition. Father Comey went by Dan O'Bergen's public house against the window of which two and a boring men. Thanjid. They saluted him and were saluted. Father Comey passed it. J. One ill's funeral establishment were corny, clear totted figures in the day book while he chudo. Blade of hay. A constable on his beat saluted Father Comey, and Father Comey saluted the constable. In Oxtetters. The pork butchers. Father Kami observed pig's puddings. White and black and red. Lie neatly called in tubes. Word under the trees of Charlie Vilmore for the Kami saw a tough barge. A tall horse with bend and head. A bargeman with a hat of dirty straw seated him in chips. Smoking and stirring at a branch of pop above him. It was idyllic, and Father Comey reflected in the providence of the creator you had. May turf to be in bogs when some might dig it out and bring it. To town and hamlet to make fires in the houses of poor people. On Newcomen Bridge the very reverend John Comey is. J. Of St. Francis Xavier's Church. Upper Gardiner Street stepped onto an outward bound tram. Off an inward bound tram step, the river and the clustered sea. Three. Of St. Agatha's Church, North William Street, onto Newcomen Bridge. At Newcomen Bridge, Father Comey stepped into an outboard bound tram for he disliked it. Traverse on the dingy way past Mud Island. Father Comey sat in a corner of the tram car. A blue ticket to Twith Care and I have one plump kid glove. While four shillings. A sixpence and five pennies chuted from his other plump clove palm into his purse. Passing the Ivy Church, he reflected that the ticket inspector usually made his visit when one had carelessly thrown away the ticket. The solemnity of the occupants of the car seemed to Father Comey excessive for a journey so short and cheap. Father Comey liked cheerful decorum. It was a peaceful day. The gentleman with the glasses opposite for the commie had finished explaining and looked down. His wife. For the commie supposed. A tiny yawn opened the mouth of the wife of the gentleman with the glasses. She raised her small gold fist. On her so gently. Tip tipping her small glove fist on her opening mouth and smiled in Lily. Tweedy. Father Comey perceived her perfume in the car. He perceived also that the awkward man at the other side of her was sitting on the edge of the seat. Father Comey at the altar has placed the host with difficulty in the mouth of that. Awkward old man who had the shaky head. 
at an Estee Bridge the tram halted and when it was about to go an old woman rose suddenly from her place to light to be continued